Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, generate curves on a lens or, or a mirror. This is a lens, but I'm, I'm going to make it more concave. Um, and um, to, do, to do generating, I use two, two diamond wheels. One's a smaller, smaller diamond, and the one that's about half the diameter of the, the lens I'm generating. Um, I want to go concave as you would in a mirror um, and a full size wheel will do it but very slowly to, to make it go faster I use a smaller wheel and then I alternate back and forth to use a larger wheel to to clean it up and make it keep it spherical so th here's how I do it as you see I have a lot of weight on top of the spindle and I'll start some water dripping here. Add some water because you need water for, for diamonds to work. And turn my machine on here. Speed it up. And you stroke about like that. This will be very noisy. But this will deepen the center. But it will make it aspheric a little bit. Not regular. You, you want always want it crossing center, and this is, the, this is how you do it. Uh, run that for a while. And then uh, you want to every so often you put a full size wheel on half diameter wheel I should say. And you want to take a pencil, go across it, make sure it cleans up. And the last place to clean up will probably be here because of the way the small wheel works. So once that cleans up, you go back to the other wheel. And that So that's basically the idea. The other thing you want to do, you want to be very careful about keeping a good chamfer. And um, always, always have a good chamfer on there. If, if, it, uh, if you don't, you're going to end up with serious chips on the edge. So I use a stick with some diamond, uh, diamond on it, and I run. on it and develop a good uh, keep a good chamfer on there because it's um, that's really important to do when you're generating and then um, um, one other technique you could do is if, if, if it's a lens uh, and it has a little bit of wedge on it you want to control the wedge say this side is the um, the thick side, what you want to do is slightly decenter it uh, just a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch, so that this ed th this edge is closer to center than this edge, and when it it'll it'll run off center, but in doing so, it'll grind harder uh, on this side and it'll, uh, less on this side, and it'll take down the the um, the high side wedge, so you can control wedge that way too, and you want to. <coughs> You want to um, uh, check your progress with a spirometer and see how far I, uh, how, f how far you have to go. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, this time. I want to drive this curve uh, more convex. So uh, th in this case, we need at least a half diameter uh, cup wheel like this. It's almost a half diameter, not quite. And we have to run it off the edge. And again, it's extremely, even more uh, important to keep a good bevel on 
on, on the edge so you can use a stone like this and keep the edge uh, beveled or I use some uh, diamond material from 3M to keep it the uh, uh, keep the bevel. So I want to put some water running and we want to run this off the edge to make sure it goes more convex. Okay, so um, Moved it out to the edge a little bit. I'm going to run it that way a little bit. Maybe uh, a little bit longer than I did, but after after a little while, you want to make sure you bring it back to the center so that it always crosses center too to keep it spherical.